Saturday Night Love. We're going to discuss our U.S. show that I'm hosting with Virago called Earthwalk. And let's see, we got a, we got our, somebody's joined in. Welcome, welcome to the crew, welcome to the crew. And um, so I'm coming to you from Los Angeles where artist and uh, medicine woman, rock and roll, a shaman extraordinaire, Virago, uh, will be jo joining us September 5th at the Besant Lodge here in Beachwood Canyon. As a pre preview, we're going to toss it to Virago coming to you live from Panama to discuss what is Earthwalk and why is she heading back to Los Angeles and the U.S. to kick off her living room tour. Virago? <laughs> it looks like you might be frozen. Let's see what we Got, we're telling followers, okay, view request, go live again. Oh man, so it's gonna be a little one of those situations. Let's try one more time. Requesting back, back. Okay, Virago, welcome back from Panama. We just had a little pause in the action. <laughs> but I was just tossing it to you to give us a little bit as to where the inspiration for Earthwalk came from and why you're coming back to the United States to deliver this beautiful message, to join us in loving our lands and to seed broadcast, hopefully for new days, new possibilities and a healed and whole earth. What do you got for us? Uh, I would like to read the words of the ancestors. This is a uh, Hopi elder, elder of the Hopi tribe. You have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour. Now you must go back and tell the people that this is the hour and there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak your truth, create your community, be good to each other, and do not look outside yourself for the leader. Then he clasped his hands together, smiled and said, this could be a good time. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are being torn apart and will suffer greatly. Know the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open and our heads above the water. And I say, see who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Beautiful location. The song? <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, I, I was hopeful that we could roll right into a little bit of, a, a, of a, a piece of the song and then maybe talk a little bit on the other side of your playing. Sure. Um, this is a song from the album I'll Be Touring called Earthwalk. It's called Time Travel Troubadour. Um, I've been abroad living in Panama the past four and a half years. I came down here right before the uh, global shutdown and I've been in a chrysalis of sorts here uh, on an island in the Caribbean side of Panama. Uh, Earthwalk was written um, as a love letter to Mother Earth and as a 
personal and universal universal heroine's journey of rock and roll and galactic folk. Um, a lot of it is directly inspired by the Hopi prophecies and other indigenous prophecies that uh, uh, promise the restoration of the earth and our societies. I feel these voices uh, deserve a much needed platform in these times of chaos and division. And I'm looking to come back to visit my roots again in North America, visit friends and family and play this album experience everywhere I go as a, yeah, as to speak in the universal language of music, which is a unifying voice. And uh, we're honored to host the first date of the tour. And like I said, in Beechwood Canyon here at the Baysant Lodge, um, and we're uh, excited to participate in kind of a words and voices and harmony and um, and again an earth walk as as you've described several times every step is a prayer um, of for the earth so I'm excited to hear a little bit of um, of the music we'll be celebrating and ceremony having tea um, in a sacred uh, process at the Baysant Lodge here at the um, foot of the Hollywood sign. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so excited to come back. It's been a long time, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. case. So huh? It will be hosting it September 5th yep. here in... in We got a, this is a Panama connection, so it's a little bit sketchy. It's kind of going in and out. <laughs> Panama Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. We're going to uh, loud and clear. And right. um, yeah, please, please. All right, let's kick it off with it's the second prayer song on the album, which is called Time Travel Troubadour. <laughs> I see a synchronicity. I see it clearly through the trees. When I reach that other shore, the tears that fall will never more. And it's too late to leave, but it's too soon to leave. Reality retreat, wait for the wind to breathe. Ooh. A wave of sweet sincerity flows through me oh so sensually. I feel it swell a star for Lord. The love that keeps the final score. Ratata ratata. Ratata ratata. And it's too late to leave, but it's too soon to leave. Reality retreat, wait for the wind to breathe. Or it is she who finds the key on goddess wings that fly through me. And if you seek, you'll find the door. Through it lies truth forevermore. Or it is she who finds the key on goddess wings that fly through me. And if you seek, you'll find the door. Through it lies truth forevermore. Ra -ta -ta, ra -ta -ta. Ratata, 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 ratata. 
And it's too late to leave, but it's too soon to leave. Reality retreat, wait for the wind to breathe. Uh -huh. The time travel troubadour. The time travel troubadour. Through the door. Ba -ta -ta, ra -ta -ta, ta -ta. All right, clappy clap, clap, clap. That's our clappy clap, 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 clap everywhere. Clappy claps. Yes, that's our Saturday Night Love song clap. Amen. Just clap, 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 clap. Um, so I just wanted to uh, query. Uh, we've been discussing a lot about the cosmic traveler uh, here in the canyon in our musical circles. Uh, where did the song come from? Oh man, it's actually one of my older songs I wrote probably 13 years ago. Where did it come from? Um, it's come from a lot of time spent in seclusion in nature, um, communing with, with the spirits, I suppose. Um, it's hard, hard I'm, I'm feeling a loss of, of articulateness at the moment. Well, <laughs> you're Long game. It yeah. comes from a different dimension. <laughs> it's a multi dimensional uh, extraction, yeah. as we call it. I think, uh, yeah, I like the idea of the traveling troubadour, and we're always, uh, we're not just traveling on the earth, we're traveling in many different realms, past, present, and future. The multi dimensions. And then, as far as things that have driven you into this uh you know earth seclusion as a songwriting form of medicine for the earth and its, its travelers um is there is there a piece of your work process that um you know you feel comfortable sharing of my work, work process yeah exactly did you just start to like seclude next to a big tree or what's your what's your secret sauce <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. That's my secret sauce. Wherever I can go out in nature, be it in the jungle or the mountains or the desert, I've spent a lot of time. I spend a lot of time listening, listening and just being uh, with the earth. And um, being that my mom was a is a writer and a teacher, she definitely instilled in me a deep appreciation for poetry. And that combined with my love of nature, I think, in a lot of time spent. Um, in silent meditation has helped me to um, keep the creative wellspring open. Beautiful. And then as you think about coming back for this tour, which you've described as a living room sessions to really open people's hearts to the possibilities um, with your, with your art, with your poetry, with your process of joining, obviously with Mel's Loveland, which is a movement for loving our lands and truly um, considering the possibilities that there is another way to approach things and that we can join together in sacred song and open up hearts, create connections. So what's on your like love list, if you will, since this is Saturday Night Love, of coming back to the US? Like what's on your love, you know, love to-do list? Yeah, I, um... I have a lot of beautiful friends and family all over this beautiful planet um, and that I have not seen in many, many years. So first and foremost, it's a journey back to my roots to see friends and family like you, for example, and meet new friends and family along the way. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Um, and back being, able to have, being able to tell people what I've been up to by playing this album live. 
life is the conversation I love to have. And then I'm going to give the title of the show that we're presenting on September 5th at the Basant Lodge here in Beechwood Canyon in Hollywood, California. It is titled Earthwalk, A Shamanic Journey of Rock and Roll. Now, is there there anything you want to let everybody know about the evening of rock and roll that they're going to experience when they come to the Basant Lodge? So this is a, every album that I write is a concept album. So it has an arc and an order to it. And I really want to bring that experience back of one woman, one voice, one guitar, simple song, simple distilled down songwriting, but it has a very, uh, a, an emotional range and a musical range and to present it as a full experience, um, combining my two favorite things, shamanism and rock and roll, um, to bring shamanism into a more modern context. Everyone has their own creative expression of their own connection of spirit and matter. And to present this work as not just my own personal journey in this incarnation, but also a universal journey that we're all uh, sharing in. Um, And incorporating the three incorporating it into a ceremonial aspect sort of like the shaman in the ayahuasca ceremonies they have their own songs called the ikaros this is my own ikaros and i and i look forward to joining you with uh, our own tea that we will create from herbs and um yeah. the gardens of the beautiful ecosystem restoration camp here in the in the canyon as well as our um a shout out to our hollywood orchard crew that's always giving uh, from the earth and and tending um, here in this uh, in this wonderful like Beechwood the canyon that we live in, so I wanted to just go one more one more crazy question not to throw you too far off the the path but so what was the moment you heard a rock and roller and you were like I will be rock and rolling. <laughs> well. I- I had a stepfather when I was 12 years old who was a bass player because I'm a drummer first and foremost, full drum set. Before I ever touched a guitar or even thought about singing, I had a stepfather and he had his buddies over one day to jam in my basement. And I remember sitting at the foot of the stairs and they were playing all this like prog rock, like Blue Oyster Cold and Yes, those kinds of covers. And I couldn't stop looking at the drummer the whole time. I just knew with my whole body that that's what I wanted to do. And that was the beginning. And he saw the look in my eyes at 12 years old and he called me over to the drum set and he started teaching me the 4-4 beat. And from there, that was it. I was for for the rest of my life. (laughs) Well, well, we're really grateful that um, the shamanic journey is of rock and roll and it's uh, Earthwalk. Um, Once you explore the country and share the songs, you know, our hope for 2025 is obviously the concept album goes into the studio and, and you create kind of a, a wonder filled, um, you know, piece of art and music that truly, uh, as folks listen to it, they understand the love of family, the connection to the land, you know, the sacred ceremonies that um, went into you writing and performing and sharing truly from that you know, liminal space of multi dimensions that cross travel and obviously troubadour, you know, ism of the 21st century, which is, um, you know, a love based, a love based community connection. And then um, do you have an interest in playing a little bit of another tune as we kind of move ourselves um, out of our Saturday night love time together? Or is there anything you wanted to oh, share? Of you go course. Ahead? I just want to thank you for having me. There's sometimes, sometimes I don't feel so articulate and that's where the songs come in. And sometimes I feel like the words are just flowing out. So we'll just end with the song. How about that? Uh, this song is called Sacred Sea. This is prayer song number eight on the album.
Beautiful. That was the clappy claps again. Clapping, <laughs> clapping. Um, I, yay! Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you for joining us from Panama. Have a wonderful show tomorrow night to anchor the magic in your current setup, and we will be waiting with open arms nine five um, up here in Hollywood, California for Earthwalk at the Baysant Lodge, Virago Sound, Mel's Loveland, bringing you the shamanic rock and roll journey, um, ceremony and sacred vibes. And, um, and then next week, we'll have one more chance to discuss the show um, on our next Saturday Night Love. And thank you all for joining us. And then I- uh, With you all. <laughs> and just to repeat, maybe the force be with you all? Yes. <laughs> all right. May the force be with you.